The drama story begins in Korea, where we see a few students, one of whom is getting hit by four other students. The name of this student is Kyungsu. However, after a while, something unusual starts to happen in Kyungsu's body. After witnessing his body, it appears as though he would turn into a zombie. Kyungsu begins to attack the students who were mistreating him. He reacts like a zombie, attacking someone even though they can't see them. Kyungsu falls on the road while attempting to attack a student. He couldn't move after falling on the road. The four students now consider him dead. Later, the scene moves to a hospital, where we see Kyung Su, who has been admitted there. Mr. Lee, his father, arrives to meet him, and the two conversed for a while, although Kyung Su was already aware that he could be a zombie. His father was also aware that he could be converted into a zombie. Kyung Su also tries to attack his father at this point. Meanwhile, Mr. Lee is holding a Bible and pointing it in the direction of Jiang Sang. Mr. Lee later packs Kyung Su in a bag and transports him out of the hospital. While Kyung Su's hand emerges and he grabs it, it's revealed here that zombies aren't going to die easily. The scene cuts afterward, and we witness the scene after a few days. We are shown a Korean school, where everyone is thrilled that summer is over and winter has arrived. All of the students are content, there is a school-wide culture that requires students to clean the school on their own, and they are all actively involved in this duty. Meanwhile, a science lab is shown. We see a girl waking up. She is the same girl who was with the students that were fighting Jiang Su at the beginning of the film. She hears a strange sound as she prepares to leave the science lab and then notices a rat enclosed in a box. She begins to admire the rat and calls it by pointing her fingers at it while the rat bites her. When the rat bites her, her finger begins to bleed, and the rat eventually becomes a zombie. We now know that if the rat bites her, she will turn into a zombie. Meanwhile, the lab science teacher arrives, and it turns out that he is Mr. Lee. Now we know who their science teacher is. When Mr. Lee discovers that she has been bitten by a rat, he doesn't allow her to let go and locks her up. Later on, the main character's mother owns a hotel, and all of her friends insist he eats at her mother's restaurant. Everyone goes to Chong San's restaurant. Later in the series, we meet another main character named On Joe. They now share a dinner at this restaurant and enjoy it very much, as well as discussing their school teacher. They were discussing how Mr. Lee has been acting strangely since his son vanished. They're talking about Kyung Su, who went missing and was last seen in a suitcase. After then, no one knew anything about him. They go outside the restaurant later. Chong San is a lover of On Jo, as we know him here. On Jo opens her hair and inquires from San about it. He also wonders if On Jo likes him. They all return later, and we see the girl who Mr. Lee had locked up, but she hasn't yet turned into a zombie. The next morning, we observe on Joe seated with her father and conversing. Meanwhile, Chong San appears, and we know him as a fellow resident of the same building. They play a game there, and the loser takes the winner's bag to school. Now that on Joe has lost the game, she transports San's bag to school, where they arrive later. We see that the school has a pleasant atmosphere, and all of the students appear to be enjoying themselves. Later, the boys who beat Kyung Su are seen taking a girl and a boy to the school's backyard building. They beat that boy a lot while working on the building construction project. They all suppose that he informs the teacher of Kyung Su's disappearance news. They begin filming an immoral video of the woman they have taken with them. With the video, they use to blackmail her. Here comes the third main character, Seo Hyo, who saves the girl and takes her away. While walking along the street, Anjo notices her and opens her hair to see him. We become aware that she likes Seo Hyo, not San. On the other hand, Seo Hyo and San appear to be excellent friends, and their class teacher later enters their classroom. She begins to collect their cell phones. She inquires about the missing girl. While a student claims to have seen her in the science lab the last time, she goes to the science lab to ask Mr. Lee about it, but he refuses to believe her and says that she hasn't been there. Meanwhile, the teacher hears an unusual noise. Mr. Lee claims that he has locked a rat, and that might be the sound of that rat. When the teacher returns, she sees the girl, who has transformed into a zombie. When Mr. Lee injects her, it appears that he is performing an experiment on her. She asks Mr. Lee not to murder her, and he replies, I hope so, but I wouldn't kill you. He's probably aware that she's about to die. Later, he enters the classroom. We can tell that the boy is bullying the girl whose videos he previously recorded. He was one of the students who beat Kyung Su. Mr. Lee was teaching a chapter on a virus. He confidently asserts that it is wrongly written in the book. Yet that girl whom Mr. Lee had bound was untied. She went to her class teacher and told her everything that Mr. Lee had done to her. 
After seeing her condition, all of the students in the class became terrified. She also claims that Mr. Lee injected her, and as a result, the entire conversation has gone viral in the class. Meanwhile, Seo Hyo takes her to the medical room, and on Joe joins Seo Hyo. That girl bites on Han's Joe's when she is lying on the bed. On the other side, students in the class are debating how Mr. Lee is torturing her because she and her gang used to torture his son. We see a girl who was going to leave her bag at home because her health was failing, and she walks quietly back to her house. Later, when San notices that the girl has bitten on Joe, he goes to rescue her, but there is no one there when he returns. On Joe's father bandages her, and the girl is carried to the hospital in an ambulance. On Joe's father is an ambulance worker. While walking into class, On Joe calls Seo Hyo and tells him her name is the best, which in Korea meant asking for a date. Seo Hyo asks On Joe if she wants to go out on a date, and she says yes. San also arrives, which enrages On Joe because she believes he has disturbed them. Mr. Lee, on the other hand, notices that the girl is missing when he checks into the lab, and he becomes concerned. Meanwhile, one of the teachers approaches Mr. Lee and inquires about the girl, taking him to the principal's office. Mr. Lee tells the girl she should not send anything out because she is under quarantine. However, the principal refuses to report the incident to the police, prompting Mr. Lee to question why no action was taken when my son was being humiliated. Meanwhile, the police come and arrest Mr. Lee. On the other hand, we witness a medical teacher who got bitten by that girl and turned into a zombie very instantly. We see the school where, during recess, all of the children came into the canteen to have lunch. On Joe was sitting there with his friends, debating how to propose to Seo Hyo, despite his desire to impress another girl. She was the class president and had to sit alone since her mother made her do it. She doesn't like it, which is why no one in the class respects her. On the other hand, we see two of the gang's members beating Kyung Soo. They used to make a film of that medical teacher who acts weirdly after becoming a zombie while passing by. Meanwhile, the teacher attacked them, biting and eating one of the boy's checks, turning him into a zombie. He begins to eat the students. Later, we see the scene on the school roof where the girl tries to take her own life, which is recorded on film by those boys. In the meantime, her friend arrives to save her by stopping her from doing so. That girl asks him why he's doing this and if he likes her. He answers yes, but the girl forbids him, telling him, I'm a loser. You, too, are a loser, and we will be losers together. Later, the girl tries to take her own life and looks below, where she sees a large number of students falling out the window. These students were actually attempting to capture zombies, and she is disturbed as a result of witnessing this. All of the zombies who had fallen to the ground began attacking students. Later, we see the school canteen, where everyone is relaxed because they have no idea what's going on. On Joe asks San about Si Hyo's feelings for her. San's heart breaks as he hears this, and he refuses to help her. While On Joe looks out the window, she notices a large number of students fleeing. She also notices a large number of zombies biting the students. Here, we see a gang member who transforms into a zombie and attacks on Joe. In the second episode of this series, we see some students playing on the ground while zombies attack them and the students flee. Later, we show the principal's office, where he is yelling at all of the teachers, telling them that the news about zombies has been leaked to the media and that this should not happen. However, a teacher doesn't like it, and as she goes outside for the announcement, a zombie attacks and eats the teacher. Later, we find Anjo being attacked by a zombie in the canteen, but San comes to her rescue. San saves her, and the two of them jump out the window, but there were a lot of zombies. They both make it to the gate by escaping when a truck has an accident. Who is also turned into a zombie, and together they reach the first floor of a building. They react to the class, but they refuse to unlock the door, because they think the students are zombies. However, on their insistence, they open the door, and everyone enters the classroom. On the other hand, we see Seo Hyo emerge from the window, accompanied by the president. And they both enter the classroom. On the other hand, the first girl to turn into a zombie was taken to the hospital, and we see Mr. Lee in jail, and we learn that he was a scientist first. He has a cat and a rat in a cage, the rat sits fearfully in one corner of the cage, but Mr. Lee stole the rodent's DNA one day while it was ragged, and he created medicine out of it and injected it into his son, believing that his boy was a coward as well and that he would rag. However, his son transforms into a zombie and murders his mother. On the one hand, we know Mr. Lee is a psycho. On the other hand, we see that girl in the hospital, where she was subjected to certain tests. She bites two physicians, both of whom turn into zombies at the same time. 
the zombies spread throughout the hospital as a result of everyone biting each other. On the other hand, we see the girl who left school and, luckily, has returned. Meanwhile, we notice a bus carrying a large number of students returning from a game. When they arrive at school, they are shocked. On the other hand, students in the classroom are trying to find a phone to ask for help. They call the police, but they don't bother since they think the students are playing a prank. The police department, on the other hand, has received a report that zombies have spread throughout the hospital. They are concerned after this, but Anjo calls her father, who arrives with his team to help them after hearing this. A teacher, on the other hand, arrived, and the students were overjoyed, so he told them to close the door and window. When Anjo sees the teacher's bitten hand, he instantly transforms into a zombie. He bites another girl and makes her a zombie with him. All of the students fight with that teacher, and he is eventually locked in the room, and they run to the lab, where Seo Hyo engages them in air combat, which he is good at. They finally make it to the lab, which is locked. Onjo breaks the lock while the other students fight the zombies and enter the lab. They slammed the doors and windows shut. Onjo inquires about Seo Hyo because, because he left the house, she supposes that he has been transformed into a zombie. Later in the episode, we encounter on the roof the same girl and boy that we saw first. The scene moves to a washroom, where a girl is hiding from zombies. A girl and a boy were hidden in the next washroom, and the girl was infected while the boy was unaware. And the girl in the other washroom takes the boy out of that washroom and locks him there. And then she turns into a zombie, an arrow hits her head. Two additional main characters from the series are introduced. We've seen students on the bus who know how to use a bow and arrow. They've just arrived by bus. Later, we see the teacher declaring that the school is in horrible shape and the students should hide wherever they are. All of the students are shown where they are hiding throughout this time. We notice the principal, who has been hiding behind the table. Now on Joe's friend asks if she told her that she likes Seo Hyo. Later, she visits on Joe, and she notices that her body has gone cold and that she has turned into a zombie. She used to be on Joe's best friend, but now that she's a zombie, she attacks her. They have now dropped her from the window, and on Joe is holding her hand. She does not want to let go of her best friend's hand. Following these events, on Joe becomes rather pessimistic. On the other hand, we see Seo Hyo, who is still alive and hiding behind the bench. They all agree to go down while holding the pipe because the door is about to be broken and the zombies will attack. San declares that he will go first, and upon seeing on Joe, he understands that she is unconcerned about anyone. She was sitting silently, and he decided to go at the last, and he sent them all. There was an announcement room where they reached downward. There was a teacher there as well. Who was calling them? San and on Joe were now alone on the upside. He invites her to come, but she refuses, claiming that there is no one living that she likes. Listening to this hurts him, and ultimately she agrees with him, and he sends her down the stairs. Now we see Seo Hyo, who was running from zombies, coming out of the window. When San reaches that room, there are many zombies there who take him with them. In the end, we see him die after falling with the zombies. The movie ends here. Episode 3 starts with Mr. Lee, and he is telling the police, Yes, I have invented the virus, and the scene cuts here. Later, the girl is shown that her condition was worse. She goes to a public toilet and gives birth to a baby. That's why the girl was sick and left while dropping her baby there. When she comes out, she finds many zombies. Later, Suhayok is shown trying to go into a room through the pipe. He sees some zombies jumping with sand. This is the scene that ended the last episode. Suhayok helps San. They enter the conference room. Strange things happen here when they come into the room. The girl in the pink sweater was asking everyone to close the window. Meanwhile, a boy asks her to let them come inside. Then we will close the window. The girl starts misbehaving with that boy. Their teacher arrives and makes them quiet. They notice a computer there. They start watching the scene outside on the computer. That is what is going on outside. The scene outside is shown, where there were zombies everywhere and people were uploading videos of it. Now they also get the video and discover that the zombies are spreading everywhere. Suddenly, a zombie comes to the window through the pipe. Suhayok attacks him with a rod, but San's friend hits him with the computer's CPU. His nose starts bleeding during this fight. The girl in the pink sweater says you are infected and about to turn into a zombie. The scene cuts, and a politician is shown. Onjo's father was also there to rescue her. One of the members of the politician's staff has been infected. San's friend is shown and everyone was blaming him. That he is infected. He will also turn into a zombie soon. They ask him to stay in a room for an hour. The teacher asks the girl who blamed him that if he does not turn into a zombie within an hour, she will apologize to him. 
San's mother is shown, and she has heard about zombies in the news. She gets on her scooter and rides away to save him. The police were also covering the whole city, so the infected people will not come out. The others will not get infected because of them. Later, four students are shown in the school's washroom. They were shown before, and on another side, San's friend is shown. He was in the room for the past half hour, but he wasn't infected. The teacher goes to call him out. San's friend doesn't come out, and the teacher asks the pink sweater girl to call him. She also asks her to apologize to him. The girl apologizes to him and starts cleaning his hand's wound with her handkerchief. This girl does bad things with San's friend. She puts the zombie's blood in his blood through the handkerchief so the zombie's blood will be mixed in it. His body will be infected completely. She again says bad things about the boy, and he also fights with her in anger. The girl was still saying that he was infected. Everyone says that if he had been infected, he would have been changed into a zombie by now. The night appears, and San's friend also gets infected. Everyone becomes emotional for San's friend. Because he was a brave boy who helped everyone, San's friend also becomes a zombie. He attacked San first. San distracts him and throws him out the window. He starts running with the zombies while falling out of the window. San becomes sad upon seeing him. Because he was a good friend of his, the girl is shown running here and there with her baby. The girl reaches the restaurant owned by San's mother. She ties herself there because she is also infected. She places her baby aside so she will not harm her baby after becoming a zombie. There was silence in the school's lab, and everyone was silent. They were depressed for San's friend. The pink sweater girl says, I told you he was already infected. She thinks everyone will thank her for saving their lives. Meanwhile, the class's president slaps her and says, I have seen everything. What have you done? And she tells the truth to everyone. That is what this girl has done. The girl starts weeping, but she still doesn't feel regret for her mistake. The girl leaves while weeping. The class teacher also moves behind the girl. The teacher went behind her to escape, but many zombies arrived there. They attack them. The teacher runs there with the girl. San's mother is shown in the next episode, having come into the ground to save her son. Reaching school, San's mother sees her son's friend. She doesn't know that San's friend has also become a zombie. When she comes to ask him about San, San's friend and other zombies bite her. The zombies eat her. The students are shown in the science lab, thinking the teacher and the girl are saved because they haven't heard their screaming. On another side, the student is shown to be a part of the gang that teases people. He escapes from the zombies and comes out while trying to get out of the school on a bicycle. Suddenly, the chain of his cycle breaks, and many zombies start following him. He again moves inside the school and goes to the principal's office. On another side, Two girls are shown fighting in the washroom. The police officer is shown still asking Mr. Lee about the virus. Mr. Lee tells him he has made the virus to make his son strong. However, this virus has the opposite effect on their son, and he has eaten his mother as a zombie. The police officer takes Mr. Lee out with him as the city begins to empty. Many zombies arrive and attack the police officer. Mr. Lee goes to save the police officer. But a zombie attacks him. He bites him. Mr. Lee knows he will die soon and says to the police officer that there is my laptop in the science lab. There is an antidote to this virus in it. The officer runs. Mr. Lee now has become a zombie but can control himself even after becoming one. The officer reaches a boy and asks him to go with him to emergency management. Reaching there, he can tell everyone about the laptop on which there was a virus antidote. The morning appears, and the students are shown stuck in the science lab. No one has reached out to them for help till now. The students are shown in the washroom. They have put up a heavy fight at night. Now they decide to move from there together. The boy of the gang who made the girl's video is shown on the roof, who was trying to end her life, and the boy uploads her video. The girl moves out to escape. She decides to break that boy's phone, so the video will not be uploaded. She moves out, but then the zombies attack her. She escapes from the zombies. The zombies have bitten her, but it doesn't affect her. San and Suhayok are shown, and they try to go to the staff room. To get the mobile phones from there to the staff room, they noticed a girl was breaking the phone. Meanwhile, San picks up a phone from there. The girl comes forward to end San, but Suhayok saves him and pushes the girl backward. Many zombies were entering the staff room, and Suhayok tried to go out of the window. But San couldn't reach the window and went out by the door. The boy and the principal are shown, the boy has reached him, and he gives him his car keys. He asks him to bring the car, but he refuses. They start a fight, and after it, Anjo's father is shown. He was rescuing everyone from there, but even at that place, there were many zombies. They were trying to go to the roof because their helicopter has to reach there. 
so they will escape everyone from there. San is shown having gone outside through the door and also reaching the principal's office. He notices the boy is beating the principal. San forbids him and starts making videos of him, but the boy is aggressive, and the principal ends the conversation. Later, he runs behind San, and it is shown in episode 5 that the boy is running behind San. He attacks him with a knife to stop him. That knife doesn't hit San, and he was saved. San reaches a library, and the boy fights San there. He asks his phone to delete the video that he uploaded. Meanwhile, San hits the phone in his eye, and due to it, he becomes badly injured. San runs from there while making that gang boy fall from there. The boy was also bitten by the zombies, and San runs from the library. The students are shown getting stuck in the washroom and then releasing themselves courageously. They reach the medical room of the school. They notice a computer, and it goes through pipes to escape from zombies. The commanders are depicted on the other side, and they have declared martial law in the city. They have dropped all the signals, and San tries to make an emergency call but he couldn't place a call because there were no networks in the city. Onjo asks a student to bring a drone. She has placed it in the lab, and they move out through the window to bring the drone. The police officer is shown as being in search of a laptop with the man. They sit in the car, but it is damaged. They go to a restaurant of San's mother and notice that girl there, the girl who has tied herself. They also find her baby, and San also reaches a music room through the pipeline. Onjo and the students have come with the drone. They set up the drone and discover San with its help. They also discover that San is okay. They take the drone towards the city. They notice many cars there, and a student sees her parents in the car. They have become zombies now. Seeing it, she weeps a lot, and the zombies also break their drones. Onjo's father has taken them to the military office while escaping them in the helicopter. The military locks them in a room to check whether they are infected or not. The gang's boy, who has become a zombie, is now even farther away from the zombies. The girl in the video is shown being bitten by zombies, but she wasn't affected, and San is shown to have been in the music room. The girl in the pink sweater was also there. She doesn't tell me that she is here. The student, whose parents have become zombies, tries to end his own life. Because her parents died, her friends stop her from doing this, and later they get an idea. They can reach San with it. Their plan was to ring songs at some places in the school through the microphone. The zombies in the school will go to that place. Like this, the school will be empty, and they can go to San like this, they can go to the terrace while taking him. They would call for help, and now they do the same. The zombies gathered at a place while running, but a zombie who was deaf was standing there. They were moving slowly behind him, but the zombie saw them. He sees them and attacks them. They run from there while attacking the zombie. The boy is shown who was injured by San with his mobile, he comes and attacks everyone. He sees Suhai Ok who is fighting zombies. He ends the zombie and asks Suhayuk about San. Suhayuk forbids him, and they fight because of it, even the gang's boy was about to end Suhayuk. The class's president arrives and tries to stop her, but he bites her hand. Suhayuk makes the boy fall down from the window, and Onjo's father makes some guards faint because the guards were not obeying Onjo's father. He wasn't ready to go to school. He comes out while making those guards faint and while wearing their uniforms. Suhayok and the class president reach San and the other students. When San notices she is being bitten by zombies, he moves forward to kill her. Suhayok says while holding her hand, if this happens, I will throw her out the window. Some other students are shown in the medical room. They come out and start helping their companion because he was badly injured. The class president was infected, and Suhayok tied his hand with hers, so she will not harm anyone else. The police officer is shown as having saved the girl's baby. He comes out while taking the baby and sees another girl. Many zombies were behind her, and they again came back to the restaurant, taking the girl. The students stuck in the music room were feeling hungry. They try to open the room, the room contains the food, and the girl in the pink sweater is also there. She locks the door from the inside. Onjo's father has moved from there to save his daughter. The soldiers see him there and start firing at him. The students find a camera and start recording their feelings with it. Onjo's father jumps in the water while escaping. He shoots a bullet and becomes injured. Suhayok is still shown with the girl in episode 7. The girl who was infected tells her that he likes her. The girl's video was made by the boys. She has become a half-zombie because she was bitten by zombies. She comes to her teacher, and the teacher starts hitting her while seeing her, but this teacher didn't help her at all at the time when the boys teased her. That's why she eats her teacher. Because she was hungry. The students stuck in the music room are shown and make a plan. 
The students have to go to the terrace so they can call for help while there. They plan to divide this room into two parts because they will play the song in this room. The zombies will gather in this room, and they will leave it through another door. Their plan was successful. They leave through another door. Onjo's father is shown on another side taking some guns from a police station and then leaving. The students were still stuck in the medical room and decided to come out of it. One of the students was injured, so they made him lie on the bed and try to leave from there. As they come out the bed breaks, the zombies come behind them because of their voices. They again go inside the school, and the police officers are taking the kids on the bike while escaping. They notice a boy climbing on a terrace. His foot was injured, and the boy was also a vlogger. He calls for help, and the police officer goes to save him, but the other officer deceives him and leaves on the bike. On another side, Sam, Suhayok, and other students reach the terrace. The door of the terrace wasn't opening, and they tried to open it. Another student is shown on the terrace in episode 8, but he didn't help them and didn't open the door. Meanwhile, the military helicopter reaches and takes that boy, who tells them that he is an alone survivor. The others are dead, the military takes the boy from there. A student who has become a zombie sets the school on fire. Due to it, the fire alarms ring, and all the doors get opened. Now the door to the terrace was also opened, and they went to the terrace. They start calling for help. The gang's boy, who has become a zombie, tries to open the door. During this, his hand breaks, and the students write SOS on the roof, so they will get some help. The officer was with the vlogger, and the other didn't run while deceiving him but brought a bus for him, and the kids were also there with him. The officer and videographer jump on the bus. The other officer takes them from there. The students on the roof try to blow out the fire. One of the students gives him her lighter. She thinks maybe this student smokes. The officer driving the bus is shown. A girl gets into an accident on their bus, and the military also arrives there. They rescue everyone and take them with them. The girl in the pink sweater was still locked up and thought to bring food for the survivors on the roof. She also remembers how her teacher sacrificed her life while saving her. While leaving, she meets the gang's boy, who is a half-zombie and hungry. He pulls the girl towards him and eats her. On the other side, San tells Anjo that he likes her. Anjo doesn't like this and stands up from there. San says I do like you, but you don't need to like me. Anjo asks him to leave, and the gang's boy, who is now a zombie, arrives and fights with everyone. The class president, who was a half-zombie, threw him down while lifting him. But still, he wasn't dead. It is shown in episode 9 when the officer who was taken by the military tells them a teacher named Mr. Lee has made this virus and his laptop has its antidote. The laptop is in a science lab at a school. The commander orders everyone to this mission. The students on the roof find a helicopter coming toward them. They call the helicopter for help. The soldiers get off the helicopter and check the temperatures of all the students, but the temperature of the class president was different, because she is now a half-zombie. The soldiers ask the students to bring the laptop from the science lab first. After it, we will take you from here while rescuing. On the other side, in the scene in the military, it is shown that the girl who got into the accident was also a half-zombie. She eats there with a boy. When the commanders see this, they discover the girl is also a zombie. They think there are some zombies about whom they don't know, and the students, including Onjo and Suhaiok, were forbidden to rescue them by the commander. The soldiers move while leaving them there. San becomes furious because of this and blows the bonfire off. He also removes the SOS sign. Onjo's father is shown on the way, and a man asks for help from him. He leaves while giving the gun to that man because he has to save his daughter. The military has also caught the girl who was infected. The rain also starts at night there. The students were stuck on the roof, and there was also a lot of thunder. They decide the zombies can't recognize their voice because of the thunder, and thinking this, they try to move out from there. They come down, and when they reach the bottom, San sees his mother, who has been changed into a zombie. San discovers in episode 10 that his mother is also a zombie now. San weeps a lot because of this and becomes emotional. Many zombies appear there, and a girl gets separated from her group. The zombies hold her. They bite her and she also changes into a zombie. On another side, the commander was watching Mr. Lee's video. He discovers that Mr. Lee told the truth, there is no antidote for this virus. If a human is affected by this virus, the antidote is to burn him to death. If this is not done, the whole world will turn into zombies. The students are shown going out of the school, and the morning appears. Onjo's father was still on the way in search of his daughter. The gang's boy is shown, who is still in search of San. The commanders discover the zombie virus has spread to other cities. The students stuck in the school try to make a wall.
They were going out. Meanwhile, when the zombies attack them, they bite one of the students, and he becomes infected even though he tries to save his other friends. Except for this, the zombies end the battle and eat him. The commander's meeting is shown, and they decide that if we do not stop it, zombies will spread in this world. They think to blast a bomb. The students were coming out when they reached the door. The door was locked from the outside, and any outsider can open it. Onjo sees her father there, and he opens the door. Onjo is happy to see her father and hugs him. Onjo's father is shown deciding to take them to a mountain in episode 11, because it was the place from which they could be saved from zombies. When they reach the ground while running, many zombies attack them. Onjo's father takes the students out from there while distracting the zombies. He was locked there because he was bitten by a zombie. Onjo feels bad seeing this and starts weeping there. Later, the students reach a construction site. There were zombies also, and they sat while coming out of the window. On another side, the commander was experimenting on zombies and discovered the zombies couldn't bear the high frequency. They decide to gather the zombies at a place to blast at them. The students are shown still stuck in the school. The only way to move forward from here is for one student to distract the zombies while others leave. No one was ready to accept this because they didn't want to lose anyone. Meanwhile, they notice a helicopter coming towards them. The helicopter tells them there will be a blast. The people who are not infected should leave this place. The drones also arrived in the city and made noise, so the zombies became distracted. The gang's boy reaches San, he is still chasing him, having turned into a zombie, and bites the wound San sustained during the fight. Onjo feels sad seeing this, because Onjo also likes San. San hugs Onjo and exchanges the name tags. San has become a zombie and distracts the zombies. The other students, who were not infected, left from there. San and Gang's boy start fighting. Suddenly, there was a blast, and they died in it. They die. It is shown in the last episode of the series that the students left, including Onjo, and she again went to the construction site to see San. There were none because everyone died. They return from there. They reach a forest and find many ribbons there. These ribbons were tied by Onjo's father, and she finds her father's torch there. Onjo discovers the ribbons were placed by her father. They move out of the forest with the help of ribbons. They reach another city, but it is already deserted. There were none, and they discovered some zombies were chasing them. They don't decide to run from there but to fight with those zombies, and during the fight with the zombies, two of the students also get infected. One of the students was terminated by the class president because he had changed into a zombie. They run from there. The class president, who was feeling she would become a complete zombie, was also feeling hungry and wanted to eat them, so she set herself apart from them. Suhayeok and Onjo chase her to save her. Reaching there, they see the girl eating the other zombies. Meanwhile, she attacks Onjo. Suhayeok can't kill her because he likes her. She leaves Onjo and moves from there. The survivors go to the base, and the military locks them up in jail for three months. Check to see if they are zombies or not. They were released after three months. Onjo goes to a mountain, reaches out, and places some food items for her friends. She sees the school's roof, where there is still a bonfire, and thinks maybe she is their class president. She tells Suhayok about all this. They decide to go to school at night. Suhayok gathers more friends with him. They reach there and notice the bonfire. The class president was also there and is now recovered. Onjo asks her to go with her. She refuses while saying there are many others like me. Meanwhile, others like her arrive there and she leaves while jumping from the building. Her friends become surprised seeing this. This is the end of the movie series.